Well, John, the next wine we're about to taste is the uh, Aresti Triscal Sauvignon Blanc. Um, Chile over the last couple of years has shown great diversity and understanding of the land and what Chile has to offer. Um, people are planting wines in different areas to extract the best from that land and using the microclimates that are now uh, more recognisable from Chile. Uh, this wine comes from the Leda Valley. Um, what, contributed, what contributes to the wine from Leda Valley for you? Uh, well, Leda Valley is a, a very small valley and very special at the same time. Uh, it's, it's quite close from the Pacific Ocean, uh, just uh, 8 to 10 kilometers in a straight uh, line. Uh, our uh, ocean is uh, very cold and it makes uh, uh, yeah, it means uh, cloudy mornings and and very cool nights and uh, it, it makes a, a huge impact on the on the characters of the of the grapes. Yeah, I mean Chile is, is recognized as a hot country, so those cool nights obviously help the, the Christmas of the wine, the acidity to come through, which comes across wonderfully well in this wine. The, the nose, the asparagus, the way it lifts off it, um, and even on the palate, you feel the wine. Uh, it, it washes over the palate, it's, it's got a lovely moat watering lushness to it. I mean, the green apple and all the typical air, uh, contributing effects come through on the Sauvignon Blanc. Truly one of my favourite wines. Um, I'd imagine it goes really well with food. Would you, could you give a recommendation what you'd see best matching? Yeah, definite, def definitely with the, with the seafood. Uh, I see it ver very, goes very well with, the, with oyster, for, for example, and, and fishes. You have to try them. Definitely yes, you have to try it. It's trial and error. Uh, this is truly one of my favourite wines, a wine widely available now. Uh, and it's one I would recommend. If you want to see quality Sauvignon Blanc, this is the wine to go for. Cheers. Cheers.